Hello, today I wanted to run through how to enter logarithms into your graphing calculator. We're going to be looking at the TI-83 and the TI-84 plus graphing calculators. Um, and, and with graphing logarithms, I also want to actually look at the graph because sometimes those asymptotes can be a little bit tricky to identify. Um, if you're looking at my screen here, let me change views for a second. This is our standard calculator. When I change view this way, I'm just doing that so that our buttons are slightly larger so you can see what I'm talking about. And this is just your calculator screen off to the side. So we know with graphing, we're going to be using these five buttons up here that are right below your screen. And to enter a function onto the calculator, we're going to push Y equals. Okay. So if we're going to be graphing a logarithm, you have a few different options. If you look in this first column right here, we have a log base 10 button. And a lot of students forget this is only if you have a log base 10. Below that, we have a natural log button. This is log base E, log base E. Those are the two most frequently used logarithms, which is why we have buttons for them. But any other base, log base 2, log base 3, log base 50, you're going to have to go to math. And this is where the different versions of the calculator have slight differences. So if you have a newer calcula calculator, when you scroll down, we are looking for log base, okay, which is what we see right here, log base. When you select that, if you have it, this is what's going to show up on the screen. Okay, You're, You have the capability of entering whatever base you would like. Now, not all of you are going to have that. So if you have it, count yourself lucky. You can change it to whatever base you want. If you don't have it, I will show you a way around that. So let's say we want to look at the graph of log base 3 of x. y equals log base 3 of x. The y equals is already here, just like any function we're trying to enter. I have the log, and now I want to put log base 3 of x. The cursor is currently flashing in the base, so I'm going to type in my 3 there. Notice that this is an arrow flashing now that's saying if you're done down here in the base, go ahead and push over to the right and you're ready to enter your quantity here. We just want to enter an X. Our variable button on the calculator is this guy here. Okay, see this button here, second row, second column. Um, don't fall into the trap of trying to use this X down here. This is not a variable X, okay? Variable, we're going to be using this button here. So I'm going to go ahead and push an X. Again, the arrow's flashing, saying move to the right if you're done. Okay, and we have this expression so far, log base 3 of X. Now, if you were wanting to graph log base 3 of X plus 9, you could type in the plus 9 here. Just be careful about whether you're typing inside the parentheses or outside the parentheses, because those are two different functions. We're going to just graph this, y equals log base 3 of x. So we entered that under the y equals. Now we're ready to come over here and look at the graph. So I'm going to push graph. Okay, and it sketched this graph for me. I, on this screen here, I have the color calculator displaying. So mine's a blue graph. Yours is probably black. If you don't have the color, no big deal, but it might look a little different on my screen. Um, if we look at this, it looks like we have this blue curve and it just kind of sort of stops right there. Okay. This is a limitation of the graphing calculator. At this point, you need to be smarter. Okay. You know that a logarithm has an asymptote. Okay, right here. Looks like we maybe have this graph getting real steep. It's approaching, it's approaching, it's approaching that or this vertical asymptote. The graphing calculator does not do very well with showing this asymptote. Um, the calculator is plotting points and it's kind of getting off the screen. It's not sure what to do with that. So just be aware that when you're graphing these asymptotes, you have to use your knowledge about logarithms. Okay, You have to know that there is this dotted line going down here where this graph is approaching. 
okay? So yes, the graphing capability is very nice. It is not perfect, okay? Let's go back to the y equals. This, this graph that we're looking at is a little bit tricky to see what's happening here because it's sitting right on the y-axis. So I want to try to graph something else, okay? I want to get rid of this old graph, so I'm going to, going to go ahead and push clear, okay? Now, some of you are sitting there saying, well, I don't have that log base button. What would I do if I wanted to do a log base 3 of x? You have to go back to an earlier video where I said if you want to enter into the calculator something with a different base, uh, you have to do log of the expression that you have inside the logarithm divided by log of your base. So if we wanted to enter log base 3 of x and you don't have that log base button, we are going to do log of x, end parentheses, make sure you end it because that's a huge difference, divided by log of 3. Okay, log of the expression divided by log of the base, just like if you were entering it to do a calculation. When we go back and look at that graph, it's the same as what we were just looking at. So no matter whether you have a newer calculator that has that log base option or whether you have an older one where you don't have that option, there are ways of entering it. So you just have to figure out how to do it on your calculator. If you're still struggling and can't enter that logarithm, please talk to your instructor and they will give you some guidance. Let's go back to the y equals. I just wanted to have you enter one slight logarithm that has a shift to it so we can better see that asymptote. I'm going to clear out our old log, and this time I want to do log of x minus 1, just log base 10 of x minus 1. So this time I can just enter that log base 10 button on the calculator. I'm going to enter my x minus 1 inside the parentheses of the log. Okay, notice the x minus 1, minus 1 is inside the parentheses, and that, that is what I intended. And let's go ahead and look at that graph, okay? So it looks similar to what we saw before. You kind of have that curve, and then it just kind of stops here, okay? Again, that's a limitation of your calculator. Be aware that the graph doesn't really just stop, okay? That's a limitation. You have to use your knowledge to know that we have more of the graph that's kind of diving sharply downward. Um, you, you have to use that knowledge that you're seeing in class, okay? Hopefully that gives you a better idea of how to enter these things, especially when you have a logarithm of base not 10 and not E, because those are the less obvious ones, okay? Hopefully that gives you some guidance to graphing. Good luck!